anybody can just say anything out of anger. Uh, how will she stop me? <laughs> she can't. So there was a sit down with VDM and his mom. VDM mom asked him to forgive Yabo Ojo. I guess VDM is going to let go of whatever issue he has with Yabo Ojo because his mom has asked him to forget about the whole thing and moved on. All right. She said there's no way Yabo Ojo will slap her. But at the same time, she was trying to make us understand from the point of a mom that Iyabojo probably reacted that way because VDM is not her mate and he shouldn't be insulting her. Yeah, yeah. 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 On one is big American English, like Loba, like don't talk to her. I say, yeah, 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 don't like it at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, mommy, but she said she could slap you. It doesn't matter. No, when they talk of uh, when we talk of slap, you understand? Mm. Just the way it is, mm. anybody can just say anything out of anger. Mm. But I believe she don't really mean it because she's a mother. Mm. How will you feel when somebody that is your mother is far far ahead of, or maybe your daughter now, mm. somebody that is you, you are you are you are older than, mm. is sending a message? You understand through your daughter to you or your son. Send a message to your mother that you stand. You should know that that one just say, uh, you know, it's out of it. So you know what you want to do now? Just forgive her. I just forgive her. So now she first calls you. It doesn't matter. Don't say you, sis. I never see you for ever. I don't even need No, but mommy, wait. First of all, if you are young, I'll just say that she will slap you. Uh, how will she slap you? <laughs> <laughs> she can't. <laughs> what? Well, she will beat you. Don't say she can't. At all. At all. At all. At all. <laughs> at all. We have an issue of a girl that was allegedly R-A-P-E inside the police station. <laughs> All right, so how bad can things get than this? Police station is supposed to be a place where you feel safe, right? Where, you know, the police are there to protect you. And now, a senior police officer is taking advantage of you. So it was said that her mom got a call from the police station okay let me read the story for you a 17 year old resident of lagos state has been allegedly r-a-p-e-d inside ogudu police station in the ojota area of the state a nigerian police officer called her mom that's the 17 year old girl mom that her daughter's missing phone has been tracked and gotten the mother of the teenager allowed her to the station alone that that is that is questionable like how would you allow your daughter to go to the station alone despite she isn't legally fit to sign any document to collect her phone see there's a question i need to ask you there's a question i need to ask and i need you guys to also give me an answer for this like you allow your daughter to go to the station alone a 17 year old girl Despite the fact that she is not of age to sign documents legally. Yeah, we are supposed to trust the police, but okay. Let me tell you guys what happened. The teenager is narrating the audio. She said, on June 29, Officer Owolabi called my mom on her phone and told her he had arrested the person with my phone and my mom should send me to his police station. And I went there. On getting there, I was told they made a mistake with the tracking and that the person caught wasn't the one with my phone. The officer sent his personal assistant to call me into his office and he showed me directions there. When I entered his office and greeted him, he replied and got up to lock the door and put the key in his pocket. I shouted, sir, why did you lock the door? He started trying to pull my clothes off and shouted. Then he brought out a G-U-N. You know what I mean? A G-U-N. Cocked it and threatened to S-H-O-T. Threatened to shoot, shoot, shoot me. Okay? If I shouted. Then he began harassing, harassing me. And when I struggled with him he hit me on the back of my head with the gun and r-o-a-p-e-d me 
I saw his phone ringing and the caller was my mom. But he told me since I didn't have a phone with me, I should tell her I didn't get to his office. And from now on, I should be reporting at his office by 12 p.m. every day during school break or while returning from school that he has been watching me for two years and now I just fell into his trap. Is this something that the police can do or not? Bro, Charlie Pop is just busy balling with all the big stars in America, like the top rappers in America. He was seen with Travis Scott, with Future, New Baby. He's just balling with everyone. How did Charlie Poppy get to this level so quick? Dude just started, he's not even up to three years. If I'm not mistaken, like two years, bro. Afrobeat is big right now. Afrobeat is superb. The fact that you guys are criticizing his music, you say he's not even making music. You guys call him a talking artist. <laughs> Problem deal. <dude. laughs> he no cast. 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 He no Pastor Jeremiah and Navdak. Jeremiah want to use uh, miracle soap. Uh, this one. Everywhere I wonder. Are you are you not tired of suffering? Now listen carefully. This soap Navdak approved Navdak normal. Yeah, Pastor Jeremiah came out and he's promoting this soap that he's selling. He's telling everyone that this soap can make you, you know, if you are barren, you can have babies. If you use this soap, if you whatever you're going through, you can, you know, this soap can change your life. It can make you rich, bro. And then, of course, VDM is always there. <laughs> is this, is this soap? I am not from a company from that approved another. Why I'm using it? Because my uncle just sent the word of God. I use it. I succeeded with it. Something you don't know. Quiet. Alright, so you heard this pastor. He said um, he sells soap. A soap that will stop your suffering. You understand? And it's going to turn your life around. First things first. And um, wait. He also sells um, pool of Bathsheba water 2.5. Water of life 1,000 era. Um, new beginning pool of Bathsheba water 3,000. Um, new beginning miracle water 3000 miracle water triple imparation 3000 miracle and healing water 3000 divine water it was 7000 before now it's 5000 i must carry my twins on uh -huh, 10000 fast lane water 5000 now the first thing i will do eh, make i call my people make them send petition go give navdak navdak will tell me me they will tell me the basic at which they approve this soap for nigerians to buy from this pastor now because i know that if you go to navdak and you say you want to register a product and get approval navdak will ask you that what does this product do then you tell them and you give them the ingredients of the product so is it that when they ask this pastor that what does this soap do he said this soap cures suffering and it will turn your life around what are the ingredients of the soap that makes it cure suffering? Now, after we have to explain, do you understand? And then this man sells uh, plenty of other waters, which I am sure that they don't have Navdak number for all the waters that I'm seeing here. So Navdak, I'm going to need to explain, and I go come in our office. If I don't drop him, I will not explain. I go call him corrupt. Do you understand? I'll call you people corrupt. Now, that's for Navdak. Number two, Oga Pastor Jeremiah. Pastor Jeremiah, I have a question for you. You say that God give you all this power. Why are you now selling the power to people? So people are suffering. You have the power that God gave to you to cure their suffering. You will now be telling them to bring money again to buy the power that God gave you from you. Does this even make sense to you, sir? Hmm? Does this even make sense to you, sir? You are selling a pool of Bacheba water, water of life. I must carry my twins for 10,000 naira. Ten thousand naira. So if woman they cry now, she she need she don't get belay. You go pay collect ten thousand from her, give her water. Tell her when she go to use that water of life. If I go buy them, you go need to carry. You go follow me. I won't buy. 
I won't buy a, I won't buy one million around that water of life. Me and you go go hospital with your water of life. Go they give people if they don't come back to life. Now problem, me and you go enter. If they don't come back to life, now problem. You will just come, you just take advantage of the vulnerable people. I don't know how you all just cool down and do all these things. Do you understand? I don't want to talk for that before they see you, they defame the man. But if I thought, even if I want to defame this man now, and they bring him forward, I'm going to need to buy those products, and if they don't work, it means it is, it is bull crap. We'll be looking at this as cruise, but it's not cruise because a lot of people will fall victim to all these things. But my own my own interest is NAVDAC, that he said, according to him, that NAVDAC have approved the product. So on what basis and what reason did NAV, did he give NAVDAC for NAVDAC to approve a soap that kills suffering and turn people's lives around? You see how far this go this country have gone with nonsense. You see how far Nigeria don't go with nonsense. This is nonsense. I would tell NAVDAC. We go send now now tell us why. And if we now sweep them under the carpet again, I so I go. We now must tell us why Navdak will approve that product. Give me the reason he gave you people. And every other product that is selling, you people will provide the Navdak number for each and one or each and every one of them. You provide it. Okay, I call this man, make it send, make it send this petition for me, go give one first. Man, I no answer. You will learn and you will learn the hard way. Don't play. Please subscribe and hit the like button i'll catch you on the next one ciao